Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. The 114th Congress is uh, now uh, in its home stretch, and with us now is Congresswoman Mimi Walters to talk about some of her uh, top accomplishments, she says, mm -hmm. for the House Republicans this well, uh, term. We've actually had some accomplishments um, my first year uh, in Congress. Um, one of them that I'm most proud about is I was very involved in Trade Promotion Authority, known as TPA. Mm -hmm. And TPA was a bit controversial, but what it does and why it's so important is it lays the foundation and the framework for this president and the next president to negotiate trade with other countries. And why is that important? That's important because one in five jobs in America is created because of free trade. And it's also important because 95% of the consumers outside are outside of the United States. So free trade is very, very important, and we were able to get a TP on the president's desk, and he signed it. It's a different economy. Everything is completely connected. What happens in China happens here at the same time, exactly. and our jobs to bridge that middle, uh, the middle class that's vanishing now is so important. Yeah, absolutely. We have to make sure that we create more jobs in America, and we need to make sure that our companies are investing in America. And one of the reasons they're not investing in America like we would like them to is because our companies are paying almost 40% in taxes, and they are the highest taxed in the industrialized nation. And what we need to do is we need to have some sort of tax reform in this country so that we encourage businesses and companies to take the money that they make overseas and reinvest it back into America. Mm -hmm. Instead, uh, sometimes they're considered the bad guy because they're making money, but then they're leaving and not leaving it here, so right. that's not great. They have to do what they have to do in order to create jobs. They have mm -hmm. to make money so that they can create more jobs. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so other top accomplishments. Well, we also passed the first entitlement reform that we have seen in almost 20 years, mm -hmm. and that is known as the doc fix. And what that means is that physicians who treat Medicare patients now have a formula in which they're going to be reimbursed. And that is going to save us about $3 trillion off of that entitlement program. And we have uh, fixed this program, and it's taken about two decades. So we're very proud of that accomplishment as well. And the uncertainty can uh, settle some of the uh, motivation uh, that could be lacking on people becoming doctors in the future. Exactly. Too, because they exactly. will know where they stand. Um, what are you working on right now? We have a bold agenda as we move into 2016, and we're looking at 2016 and 2017. And uh, Speaker Ryan has put forward some ideas that our conference has been working on. And the first bullet point really is what are we going to do for jobs in the economy to create more jobs? And we just talked a little bit about tax reform, and we're going to be looking at comprehensive tax reform. We're also going to be discussing poverty. What do we do to help bring people out of poverty? We have 46 million people in poverty in this country right now. 45 million people are on food stamps. We need to give them the tools. We need to look at our welfare um, reform and look at ways to bring people out of poverty. We also want to deal with health care, reform our health care system. Obamacare is not working. We have more people now who are paying higher premiums, higher deductibles. They can't see their doctors. And we need to make sure we make health care affordable. So we're going to be coming forward with a comprehensive plan on health care. Uh, national security is another area on our agenda. Uh, obviously, we've been seeing what's going on with ISIS and, and the threat here at home. Um, and finally, we're going to be looking at Article 1 and restoring the constitutional powers. Uh, we have a president who has overstepped his power, we believe, through executive action. And we want to restore um, the Constitution and the role of Congress. Uh, okay, well, the Constitution exists whether it's observed or not. But, exactly, but, and we need to make sure we follow the Constitution. But there you go. Congresswoman Mimi Walters, thank you very much for sharing with us today. Thanks for having me. Okay. Thank you for joining us as well. I'm Leslie Layton.